Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing all super well today. This video is a requested video from one of you, so shout out goes to Emmy. Ciao Emmy. And it should be a fun video. Uh, we are going to go through my entire handbag collection. So grab yourself a cup of tea or coffee and let's get started. I will be organizing and showing you this bag according to the size. We go from the biggest size to the smallest size. Before we start, I would like to remind you to enter the giveaway that I have announced in my previous video. If you haven't done so as of yet, please go and watch my previous video so uh, you can be part of the giveaway. There are all the conditions of entry and they are not hard. The giveaway runs till 29th of September. So good luck to everyone. So we start with the biggest bag in my collection and as you all know I do not like super huge big bags. The biggest bag in my collection is uh, Chanel Deville and this is in small size. It is not the medium size. It's got only the two handles and I love it that I can put it on my shoulder. As you remember I unboxed this last year when I was in Europe and I can tell you from the time I purchased it because I was traveling in Europe for like a couple of months, I was using this handbag. When I purchased my Chanel Devil in the medium size and I purchased it in my favorite color, like light pink, it was beautiful. Also, I purchased it in Europe in Chanel Vienna store a few years back. I did not take it out. I think I have a couple pictures on my Instagram <laughs> when I took it out only to take the pictures and I always felt that the bag is just too big for my frame. I'm 172 centimeter tall and I don't know, I, I just don't have so much stuff to take with me. So this uh, definitely I will be wearing more. As I said, I was using it for traveling because I always take with me a laptop wherever I go. So this is a bag where I can carry my laptop with and I can put my water bottle, whatever essentials with me. So love it and it is more than sufficient size for me next handbag in my collection is this beautiful Hermes Birken in size 30 in Clement's leather and what else than orange color you know I love colors and for me black and darker colors handbags are not really me I use them I have them but not as often as colorful handbags so I really really love colors this I mostly use for work purposes as you know, I'm not working currently, so not sure if it stay in my collection or not. I still use it a couple times going to the city, shopping when I need to take my laptop with me or umbrella, but yeah, we'll see. No idea, not selling yet. <laughs> Next handbag in a size, I think would be this long chain. I've got it in this beautiful khaki color because it fits uh, with a lot of my suitcases and it is in a small size. I mean, for me, it is the most important. It fits laptop and, you know, few essentials during the trip, like makeup and, you know, water bottle and all the stuff. So, love this handbag for traveling uh, because I'm one of those who love to travel low key. So, it is great handbag for maintenance purposes. I do use it only for uh, traveling on the plane. So, lately, I can't go anywhere. But I would recommend it to anyone who wants very low-key handbags to use, really. Nylon, it's so easy to take care of. Next handbag in my collection, according to the size, is this beautiful Bottega Veneta pouch with a shoulder strap in this beautiful burgundy color. Love, love, love this. I mean, I can't talk too much in this video about how often I do carry this handbag since last year, especially the handbags that I purchased from last year till now, because of the lockdowns. I mean, last uh, three, four months, I did not carry any handbags whatsoever to go out because I only go out exercising or getting my coffee, yes. I think I will be using this handbag, as I said, mostly for winter and autumn time. I have a matching Louis Vuitton sneakers in this beautiful burgundy as well the Dior boots so winter is finishing and obviously I won't be wearing it too often but even if you won't see it this handbag will definitely stay in my collection I love it very much the next couple handbags again from the same house and I hope I stop buying 
two handbags only from the same brand and same style, but it just happens to be this time Bottega Veneta. Now, you could have seen them in my Bottega Veneta last video unboxing. This is a Bottega Veneta pouch in this intertiered beautiful leather in a small size and I'm just so in love with this color. The color is so gorgeous. I love this color so, so much. It is so fashionable. Love, love the pouches. And I know, as I told you, I've eaten my words when I told you I would never wear pouches because previous experiences from the basic pouches, like Chanel pouches, whatever, I never carried those ones. But this is something so different because this is so fashionable and it is more like a handbag. Even so, you carry it this way or under your shoulder. It, yeah, it's so different. Anyhow, I can't explain any other way. I love it. The next color is Bottega Veneta pouch, small. This is in casking. So this one is in lambskin, but it is in tertiate leather. This one, calf skin. Look, I haven't taken it out, obviously, because of lockdowns, but love love it look at the color i think it's so gorgeous can't wait for summer i think it's such a beautiful summer color makes me really happy when i look at it next couple of handbags come from the same house from chanel and uh, chanel website refers to them as chanel flat bag with top handle this particular one is in medium size according to the chanel website us in the fashion community, we refer to them as Coco Handle handbag in a small size. So this is the third size currently on the market because that is mini, small, medium, right? According to Chanel. Now, this one is in caviar leather. It's beige color with lizard top handle. As you can see, it's this beautiful burgundy color, which I really love in a combination with the beige. It's got the gold hardware and what else can I say? Really, really great for every day. I mean, I used it for work. The strap is removable. I've never taken it off, but look, that is an uh, option. Love the handbag. I think it's great for anyone who is um, carrying uh, makeup and a little bit more than just the basic essentials every day with them. Love, love the handbag. Unfortunately, since I don't work, I do not carry them. So I will see how I'm going after the lockdowns. And yeah, we decide then. Same bag, just different color. This one is in black. Again, for work purposes, I wanted to have black and beige. They were the two bags that I purchased, like nearly simultaneously. And simple. With the black, you wear black or different colors. And beige, it goes with most of the stuff as well. So love it again, guys. I wore it so much and with the caviar leather, you really do not see any wear and tear. Love, love caviar leather from Chanel for sure. Next one, Louis Vuitton Palm Spring in PM size in reverse monogram. I have no idea why I purchased this one. Um, as I said, I've never carried this out. Again, when I'm traveling, when I'm flying from point A to B, I do not like designer luggages, nothing. So this was one of the purchases, you know, you don't think when you shop. I think that's what happened to me. I think it's beautiful craftsmanship, don't take me wrong. It's a great backpack. It's just not for me, that's it. I think it is more for younger generation. That's how I would name it. Well, yeah. Next couple handbags come again from the same house, uh, this time from Louis Vuitton. Again, it will just prove that if I love style of the handbag, I can purchase it in different colors. I don't think there is something wrong with it. And I just love this one, Louis Vuitton Capucin in BB size. I am not a big fan of the PM size. I think it's big, but again, it depends on your height, size, you know, if you can carry the size. I think BB is perfect for me. Love, love, love. Again, carried for work purposes. It looks still like brand new. This one has a silver hardware. This one has even a strap, so you can carry it on your shoulder or even crossbody if you want for a short period of time. Look, it's got leather inside, leather outside. This color, I think it really goes with anything and everything because it's such a settled pink color that it goes with any color really. Love this 
very very basic pink color the next same handbag is again capucine bb size in this beautiful color which is called gale if i pronounce it correctly with the snake handle and i think the combination is amazing when i saw it i just wanted it and for this handbag i think i traveled so far uh, just to return there and back i think i've done 700 kilometers just to get a handbag nothing else i know crazy again the same you know leather in leather out love it you can't do anything wrong with these handbags i used it again for work but i think it's such an elegant handbag i don't think these sort of style the structured handbag can be carried very casually it doesn't go together in my opinion but i did see it so all good for those who can pull it off the next handbag is chanel 19 in this beautiful blue color it's got a three color hardware and if you watch my not long ago uploaded video detail review of chanel 19 you can watch it i will link it here i love this handbag it is the maximum size that i would carry these days i love 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 the color next couple handbags come from the same house uh, and it is dolce gabbana and look what can i say pink my favorite color i love these handbags dolce gabbana sicily handbags i think they are so understated because the leather amazing it looks always like new you can look at the corners everything there is not one scratch there is not one dirt nothing it's got even the feet love the size small size it's a perfect size for every day i use these handbags for work purposes so i could carry my essentials especially when i was going to meetings whatever it always looked cool with a suit so i think it's a very elegant handbag and i really look big i love the print right i do not use it anymore because obviously when you don't work uh, yeah it's just a big handbag for me but i love 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 the print and love the style love the simplicity and i think they are very understated handbags from dolce gabbana next handbag from dolce gabbana is again the sicily in small size and it's just different print black and white i used to wear quite a bit of black and white suits when i work because i think it's super elegant so when i had an important meeting it was always like black and white and this handbag and i love it i love the style like for work purposes or somebody who carries makeup every day who is worried about wear and tear I can't stress enough how great is this handbag like you can't even see i was carrying this handbag like there is no wear and tear whatsoever it's got a fit at the bottom and the size is perfect because you can really or obviously it's got a strap you can really fill up this handbag and i think this handbag it's really really good from all handbags that i have for work purposes i think it's the best handbag for wear and tear for the style for how much you can fit as well price point i think it's got a great great price point the next uh, handbag from chanel is the chanel boy bag the only boy in my collection this one is in medium size uh, caviar leather silver gold hardware again love the colors as you can see they are just gorgeous and i would not let go of these handbags look like brand new silver gold hardware i think it's a first handbag that i've purchased with silver hardware and it taught me to mix and match which i was not a big fan at all before you know to mix silver with gold i never liked it it's not that i love it but i can do it <laughs> so it's a good point i uh, love the handbag would not let this uh, handbag go even so the style is not really me anymore but i always uh, make it work somehow so love it just love it if you watch my Chanel handbag collection, I did have a small boy bag in this like royal blue, but I let it go and it ended up in the hands of beautiful, beautiful ladies. So I'm really happy because I do think that if you don't use the handbags in your collection, it's, I don't know, it's just waste. I think they should be taken out. They should see the daylight 
and uh, I'm always happy when uh, my items end up with nice people so uh, definitely I don't want items just uh, sitting on the shelves I'm not a collector I just love items I love luxury items I want to wear them I just don't want to store them it's uh, not the point that I'm after items and I'm shopping items for. The next uh, few items are the same, just different colors, but I think it's such a classic from Chanel and I think every Chanel lover should have at least one in their collection. But again, my personal opinion. The oldest one, Chanel classic in size medium, is this black one. Again, caviar leather, gold hardware. What can I say? Even so, I'm not black lover. I think, you know, Black is classic, very elegant. You can't do anything wrong when you go out. Black goes with the most of the outfits and I love it. The next uh, classic medium is in denim. I'm not 100% sure if it was the next, but this is the one. I purchased it in Chanel Boutique in Vienna. Love it. I mean, light denim, dark denim and white trimming. It's beautiful, silver gold hardware and yeah, very simple. Guys, I love denim. You can't do anything wrong with denim. I love denim pants, you know, denim skirts, dresses, whatever, name it. Love it. So this is so easy to mix and match. The next uh, classic, again in medium, is this beautiful, beautiful iridescent pink. For the champagne gold hardware and I just love it. It's such a beautiful pink shade. These would definitely stay in my collection until I die because I love obviously pink color. But this iridescent pink, you can mix and match it with any color because it's very settled pink and the iridescent is just gorgeous on the back. It's really beautiful. The next classic medium and the last one in this beautiful red. And I always wanted a red color, even so I don't carry that often, but I always wanted a beautiful red in my collection. And this is the perfect, perfect red. It's like a lipstick red. Again, champagne gold hardware. Love it all, caviar, except for the denim, obviously. But yeah, I love this red color. It's really, really gorgeous red. I'm really happy. At that time, I was looking for a red handbag. I was not really after like classic, but when this color came out and I saw it, I was like, yes, definitely sold. Love this color. Another same couple bags, different colors from Chanel. This one is according to the Chanel, Chanel flap with top handle in a small size. According to the fashionistas, it is Coco handle mini. Love it. Champagne Gold Hardware is beautiful pink color, caviar leather, it's got even a feed. You can't do anything wrong with this. I love. I think this is the most popular size in Chanel, as far as I know. And you can watch my video comparing all Coco Handle sizes, what fits in it, and the whole review. I just love them very much. If you have watched my last Chanel unboxing, you would have seen this beauty. And it is, again, the same size, but in this beautiful white color. Again, caviar leather, champagne coke hardware. And I'm really, really happy to add this white Chanel handbag that I always wanted to my collection. I mean, I was really contemplating because they had a classic as well a few months ago, but that time I gave it a miss. And yeah, I'm excited because this style is really me. So love Coco handles. The next in size is Louis Vuitton Hands Reverse Monogram in canvas. What can I say? I always wanted a canvas handbags from Louis Vuitton because the house is so famous for them. And I love the canvas. You can't really destroy it. Any Louis Vuitton lover should have at least one canvas piece in their wardrobe. I always wanted some different style from canvas. I've never been drawn to never full or speedy. Don't take me wrong. Some people can pull it off, but I don't like mixing pattern with Louis Vuitton logos. It's just me. And when you dressed and you want to wear this, you have to always have like a denim and just one color shirt or earthy tones. And I love my colors. I love color for dressing. I love patterns. I love flowers for summer. So it's not something that would always fit with my wardrobe, but 
Okay, it's, it's personal taste, right? The next handbag in my collection is this Chloe handbag. I think it's called Faye or something like that. I can't even remember, guys. I bought it many years ago and um, I haven't worn it many years, so I'm not even sure what it's called. I purchased it really long time ago, only because of the color. It's like a light blue, grayish color, which I was drawn to. However, the style is not me. I do not carry crossbody bags anymore. I told you many times why and reason. So this is a definitely a handbag I'm not going to carry, but until I replace it with another sort of this sort of color handbag that I would actually like, the style that I would carry, I'm not letting it go. So I'm really waiting for this color to come to my collection in different style. The next handbag in a size, I think, it's this Louis Vuitton twist in PM size. And if you watch my Louis Vuitton collection, you know how much I crave about this handbag. Love it. The Epi leather from Louis Vuitton is amazing. If you want to try any leather from Louis Vuitton, the Epi is the way to go because it's something similar as Chanel caviar. You can't destroy it. It's really good. This handbag I first purchased with silver hardware and therefore it has this silver strap as you can see. So this strap doesn't come with this bag. But I had an issue with the handbag Louis Vuitton, I replaced it with this, but they had only with the gold hardware. And this handbag has a white strap, so I can actually change it, but I mostly wear this handbag in this three combo, red, blue, white, because I have the matching shoes, red, blue, white, and I have a lot of red, blue, white outfits, so that's why I love this handbag. Anyhow, the size is amazing, PM size is great you can fit so much stuff in it and it looks great even like the top handle crossbody on the shoulder you can shorten the strap so you can have it only short fitting here or long crossbody like so many options i can wear it with white strap but i've got another like handheld strap in gold and silver so I can achieve so many styles with this handbag that's why i love it very much and just for your info look the white white bags you see that's why i didn't get at the end the extra mini coco handle in white as i was saying in my previous video because this is like a little bit small size so i wanted to go just a little bit bigger so that's why this size another couple more chanel classics this time they are the mini rectangle and please do not kill me this is a little bit controversial but you know my opinion crossbody bags don't do it anymore to me even if it's classic this is beautiful fuchsia champagne gold hardware chevron uh, love it i will love it on other people when i see it just you know coco handles just won my heart unfortunately because the way how you can wear them and carry them it's just i just love them more just touch more but i will still enjoy them when i see it on you guys <laughs> now obviously the new style you know that with the handle didn't grow on me as yet so maybe i will get one in the future so i can carry it in a hand the next one is uh, mini rectangle of Peyton. again champagne gold hardware this one is silted and yeah i think it's elegant beautiful handbag you know nothing wrong with the handbag i'm pretty sure some other people will wear it love it and yeah it will be very nice on them next one in size is the louis vuitton multi pochette i've got it with a khaki strap um, monogram canvas what can i say i crave about this bag in my I think every single video last year love it uh, for traveling for you know that i do bike rides uh, quite a bit so i always carry it with me because it's great again this is crossbody i know but it hits you much higher i don't know for my back it's okay this bag but when it hits me lower it hurts my back so very different bags and when I travel, especially on motorbikes, you are very limited with the space. So with this handbag, you take this strap off. You can have just a little handbag uh, to carry in the evening when I go out. And it's perfect. So this handbag, I 
really really love especially because it's canvas you can't do anything wrong with it it can't get destroyed love this handbag uh, next one again from Louis Vuitton is this wave in I think it was PM size right so this is the only ever charm I purchased for the bag because I'm not really charm bag person but I thought that the colors it's so cute together anyhow I saw it and I thought like hmm my first big charm ever i think it's the first and last one but look i love the turquoise color i use this bag for summer with my summer outfit obviously i've got turquoise shoes so matching shoes and i can't say anything wrong about this handbag it's beautiful does not fit too much though but all your essentials like a phone and lipstick whatever you need credit cards wallet whatever obviously small wallet love this handbag again you can carry it in a hand crossbody on your shoulders options are there you can take this off so if you do not like too much colors here which some people don't like you can take it off and uh, you have just a simple bag but then you have to carry it crossbody or on your shoulder anyhow love this color for summer we are getting to a smaller handbag that i love and adore so much these ones are my favorite chanel style coco handle but these are extra mini look at the beauty this is in a pink color again caviar champagne gold hardware um, usually if the coco handle is not any exotic skin handle I have a twilly, so this one's got a twilly. The white still don't have a twilly because they didn't have any, so I couldn't buy any. But it will come on it. I love it with twilly, it's simple, beautiful, and just to protect the handle, anyhow. So love this extra mini. Next extra mini is this beautiful iridescent black. And this is first time that I purchased the handle. It is not anymore lizard. As you can see, it is embossed lizard because as you know, Chanel ceased production of exotic skins. So this is embossed lizard. And guys, can you see? You can't see the difference, but you can feel it. It's not lizard. It's um, very smooth. So this got a champagne called hardware and I purchased it because I will be letting go of the black one. So I just want to replace it and this is always the way. When I want to replace a bag first I have to get one and then I let go of this. Love the style and even so I'm not that much into black handbags. I have to have a mini in a black color and because this is iridescent I thought Definitely, yes. The next style that I haven't worn for many, many years, but I used to love army prints. I mean, uh, we are all guilty of something, right? So I used to love army prints. I can't help myself. So this Valentino clutch was one of those purchases, but I loved it. I love army print. I used to love this Valentino clutch and I have exactly matching shoes. They are high heels, they are cool, they are really nice, but I haven't worn it for many years now. <laughs> Anyhow, it's still in my collection because I can't depart from it. I don't know, I still somehow like it. Uh, I still like army print, even so I don't wear it, but I still like it. Now we are coming to my most used bag of this year. And if you watched me, you know what I'm gonna do, show you. So we start in the order I purchased them. Bottega Venet Hamini Jody. Look at this, the pink. Just gorgeous. Interchange the leather. This is the old style. Then I purchased the Bottega Veneta Jody in Kiwi. You see, the style is sort of still similar. This got gold hardware, this got silver hardware, but you can't see that much. And then, not long ago, I purchased this green one, which is so beautiful. Love it, but this is a new style. So if you compare them, let's compare them at the same side, you will see that this is the new style, which yeah, much smaller than this. 
I love this handbag so much and I know I should stop wearing them because my Instagram lately is all about Bottega Veneta Jodi Mini. But what can I do? I love the handbags. The next handbag in the size, I think, is this Hermes Evelyn in Mini in this black Clemens leather. Look, I know it is black, don't judge, but I specifically wanted this handbag for my motorbike rides because I've got outfits that need black handbag. I thought this would be great because I'm a person, I do not like mix black and brown. For me, it's like no-no. So some of my outfits I can match with the Louis Vuitton multi pochette. However, because they contain brown, I would never carry black handbags with them. The next handbag in my collection that carries too many memories and it will be my sentimental piece until I die is this Louis Vuitton Petit Mal in monogram. Love it very much, especially of the sentimentality. And if you watch my previous video, you would know why. So I leave it up to you to watch it. It comes with a strap. It's black and thin, so it is great if you want to carry it crossbody. I carry it as a clutch for going out. However, I did purchase monogram thicker canvas strap, which looks really cool with this handbag as well. So love it. Next handbag is from Chanel. And again, one of those purchases that I don't know why I purchased it. I just liked it when I saw it. So this is the Chanel round bag. Black and white, you can't do too wrong with it, right? But I think because of the color, I don't wear it. I don't carry it. I don't know how to style it anymore. I don't know why, guys. It's a beautiful bag. Craftsmanship is amazing. I think it's a gorgeous, gorgeous bag. It's just not my style, but look, it's still Chanel. It's beautiful. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I will let it go. So we have only two more handbags and we are done. So the Second last is Louis Vuitton mini twist in this beautiful python and you know that I purchased it last year in Europe, uh, specifically in Louis Vuitton store in Vienna and you know the story behind when I ordered it and he didn't really make it to the store before my departure but I was lucky enough to get it in time. It's got gold hardware. Guys, I'm so surprised how much this mini fits actually. It's incredible. Love this bag. It's a very special piece in my collection. It's the only exotic skin that I've got in my collection. And one more thing. I figured out how to hold this handle in place as so. And then you can put this strap inside the bag and you can carry the bag like this. Isn't it so cute? Love it like this. It's so gorgeous. And obviously you can wear it crossbody. You can carry it on your shoulder and you can even double it. I mean, again, twist bag, guys. <laughs> I mean, last handbag. Again, guys, I don't know why I purchased it. It's the Chanel pouch. I think only the pink got me. I think. <laughs> I don't know why otherwise. I purchased it. I never carried it. It is a pouch. Whatever I told you about the pouches, I thought it is the same story and it will apply to Bottega, but it is not. And you may see the difference. This pouch and Bottega Veneta pouch, they are so different styles. Even so, they are pouches. So, um, not sure what I was thinking. Let's say it that way. This concludes my entire handbag collection. I hope you enjoyed it. If yes, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would love you to join my YouTube family. If you've got any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope to catch up with you in my next video. Have a lovely day and take care. Ciao.